Hello and welcome to the showcase to a Lulin Golem. I have played this thing yesterday and for one set today. In total of three sets I played with this exact team and it got me to 2656 I think. So pretty high rating right now. And the team is a Lulin Golem as a lead and my kind of famous backline of Shadow the Late and Minister. A lot of people know that and a lot of people adapted to that. It's also like now one of the famous backline <laughs> that every sticks like to use. But I came basically up with that backline in when Ultra Premiere started. And I got to wreck one in the world with this backline with a Magnus on lead. Now I just have a different electric type on lead. And let's see how this is gonna go. That is my game capture, here you go. And this is the first game. The first game I played with it, I have a Galantia lead. And my opponent quits out immediately. I mean, that was an easy one, I take it. Next game, maybe this game gonna be a bit more, a bit longer. We have a point lead, that's kind of a neutral lead. What I would do in this situation is throw one wild charge and dip into your Galate. I throw the white charge, my opponent does not shield, and oh, quits as well. Nice. Can we have a longer game now, please? Thank you. That's why I also played three sets and put it on. We had a good lead there with Skarmory. I had like a lot of really fast games in here. We shield Blast Burn and Blast again. We have to shield nearly everything against our shield delay. We still pressure the Skarmory a lot. I tried to build up to nearly two, so we get to two and we can just farm down. Look at how much damage this does to an XL Skarmory. Shadow Light is like a monster. And he goes into his Shadow Swampert and quits. I mean, f easy first game, but we had like decent leads before, I guess. Mario Monkey, that's like someone who's like really good in PvP and knew his name before. I don't even know if he has like social media or anything. No people talking about him. King of Lead, that's kind of neutral and actually not that good for us because Dragon Burst still does a lot of damage. Most scenarios like against heavy hitting fast moves, um, Golem loses in the two shields just because it's kind of squishy. I, I kind of wanted to throw it there, but I think I just, okay, it just switched me out. He goes into a Clefable, which is really bad for a Galate, but I mean, we can still do a lot of damage here. Now I can try to farm him down with my Venus, I think. Yep, and he had a bonus on the back, which is kind of bad. I tried to bait here. I tried to get like every possible <laughs> thing here to get to slow win this game. I have to shield the weather ball definitely. I tried to get to another move. I tried to throw my rock blast there, but it over tapped for me and threw a world switch. That's cool. I tried to throw him immediately, but this kind of ruined my game here. I, I had to hope that he shield the Rock Blast and um, yeah, it was just like not the case at this in this position anymore. Like there was nothing really I could do. Good game to my opponent. Really well played. Slotch Bean. Mm. Alone and Golem into Raichu. Raichu is kind of spicy, but you kind of have to keep in mind that Raichu has a fighting type move and Brick Break, which this most likely is because he threw it so fast. Yeah, but Brick Break is kind of a trash move. Kind of make a mistake and just. Throw a riot charge here, only actually so I get some more time to overthink stuff. He does not get to move here. It actually helped me out here because I could farm down before he gets to an energy ball, which is cool. We go for a leaf blade. Maybe I shouldn't have baited here. Okay, he threw shield. Never mind, I should have baited there. It's good. I can throw another move here. He double shield, which is really good for me because I have my Venus on the back, which handles this thing like <laughs> without a problem. He switches out into his own Venusaur. Now we have a Venusaur with two shields against a zero shield and Venusaur, so this looks like an easy game. But actually, I had a really good run on this team. I think I went 4 1, 4 1, and 3 2. And in the 3 2, I lost one game because I was stupid. But so this team was like really, really solid. And uh, I posted on it with a, on the, about this team on Twitter, and like I saw a lot of people also now using a little Golem. Like I saw a lot of streamer using it right now, which is kind of cool. I think this Pokemon has a lot of potential. We have a highly based flying type meta right now, all the Skarmies, Dragon Knights. We have a lot of water types as well now. 
So having a uh, rock type that can also resist uh, incinerate from Talonflame, which a lot of people don't really want to see, is really cool. Jails and lead is kind of neutral, I guess. But I can just go for a wild charge. Yeah, I thought I, I think I tried to double up there, but lagged. So I have to shield here now, and he perfectly catches the move here on the stun first. I think it was. Yeah, on stun first, which is like really bad for us. We have our Venusaur. Uh, I think I shield the first one right away. If I'm not mistaken here. Yeah, he shielded the one, which is good for me. I kind of wanted to get shields off of him. I shield the first one with an earthquake. Because there was like no way he would would, not, would paint there. I can throw my next move. He might want to get rid of my Venusaur again. And okay, he no shields there. But I think I can farm down this stage. Earthquake still hurts, but won't chaos. Yeah. And he was into the eventual, which is okay for me. I don't know why I did here. I think I switched. Oh, yeah, I switched into Galate. Try just to absorb a move. I think I discharged a lot here. Yeah, wow, look at the damage. I am still able to farm down. Able to get to uh, Leaf Blade here, which is really cool. And I still have a Wild Charge stored on my Lone Golem, which I can use right now to finish off this Jailson. Like, this team is really good against Jailson in general. Like, every Pokemon has a move that can hurt it. Now I can go. For wild shot, you get this stun first, die resisted, but still enough to KO it here. And the next opponent. We have Golem into the Avengela. That's a really decent matchup for us because we get to the second rock blast before he gets to the second move, so we at least would win the one shield scenario, I guess. Or the zero shield. But the zero shield, we get to it one move before. He gets an extra movement, which is kind of unfortunate, but I mean, it happens. And he let, let it go, which is really cool for us. We go straight into our Glade, because he goes into his answer, which is the Obstagoon. We can take one move here. Hope he does not get the boost. He does not get the boost. I try to bait him. And it worked out for us, which is cool. No, I, okay, I don't shield here, that's interesting. I don't, so I, I'm not gonna solve that, but I have still my Wheelersaw, which wins against it. Okay, and he has a Skarmory in the back. Okay, this, I don't know how this game gonna end, actually. Can we win this? Can we win this? I double up here before I switch out, which was kind of maybe a mistake because he gets to move now and I have to shield here. I don't know if I can not spew him to two wild charges. I tried to get to... <laughs> I think I even tried to bait there first, but I clicked on the wild charge and he didn't shield, which was really nice for me. I think if he shielded there, he would have won this game. Now we have, I can throw a wild charge again, he has to shield this now, and I have two moves already on my Venusaur, and I should be able to take this game home. But I think if my opponent shield the Skarmory there, I would have been in a worse spot. But I take this, definitely. After a wild charge, I would have been in range of a sky attack, I think, so. Oh, this game is the one I started later recording because I was sleep and I had like some queue times and I didn't really pay attention. So this was after the first quick move of my opponent. He went straight for Weather Ball and I can't start record, so sorry for that. Uh, I basically only got, went for one Rock Splash. I didn't think he even cheated on that. I accidentally... Oh, okay, I got a shield. I accidentally threw a Rock Splash against the Kingdra. I wanted to throw the wall, the wall Charge, but it's okay. I can go into my Venusaur farm up a bit over, I think. Yeah, I'll farm a bit over. Now I can go for a Sludge Pump immediately against this Abomastone. And he shielded that. And then I was a CMP tower, which is really cool for me. And he can farm me down here. But I still have my Gallade, which I think I am able to farm down. Okay, he goes into my champ. That's good for me. Because now I can definitely farm him down here. I think I'm gonna no shield here. There is no. Okay, never mind. Looks like. Never mind. I can just farm down and I, I guess I won't see him peeing against the bombs now. I don't know. I guess it was the right play. I think Rockside would have done enough because of both our shadow. I guess I relied on the CMP tie there. I don't even know if I would win the CMP tie actually. Magnus on lead, that's kinda tricky, but I think I can win this in some scenarios because. He goes for Mirror Shot, Mirror Shot doesn't do that much, but he lowers my tag right away, which is kind of sad. And I switch out here because I don't really want to throw a debuffed Wild Charge. He goes into Chalicent, which is kind of okay for me because I have my Leaf Blade. 
I think he paints me here. With the bubble beam? Yeah. He was at a shadow ball, so I had to shield. Paints me the bubble beam. I can go for another leaf blade. And I'm fine with this situation to let this thing go because I can farm no with my Venusaur. I'm in a good spot. Venusaur is also kind of okay against the Magnezone who tries to come back in, and that's what he tries to do here. I think that's only Mirror. Yeah, it's only Mirror Shot. And this should do a lot of damage, exactly. This puts him into Rock Blast range, which I try to get here. I'm gonna no shield because there's no move that can KO me. Exactly, the Wild Charge didn't do that much. We have Moonstone on our Venusaur, and we have a Wild Charge here. And it's a Machamp in the back, so this is basically a good game, I think. I think I can farm down with my Venusaur. Before you, yeah, exactly, I can just farm him down without curing. I had to double up anyway, mistake guess. I remember that he has uh, a bonus no lead, exactly. I played against him today as well. And I think I beat him this time. I think I lose this game because Abomasnow is really difficult to deal with this team, even though you have like Rock Blast. Rock Blast doesn't do that much, it's like uh, only a bait move basically. Mm. And I think I also got baited, so yeah, I got baited I think twice there, which got me in a really bad position. He goes into my champ, I can go into my Golate and farm down. Yeah. And he has two in the back, which kind of hard counters me again. I go for the close combat so he does not get uh, as much farm and does like the most damage, does like two more damage than a uh, leaf blade, even though it's double resisted. Or even triple resisted. What? No, it's double. It's double. Damn right. Try to farm down here. I should survive every move here, I think. Aerial Ace definitely. He goes back into a bummer snow. Oh, it's gonna be a close match. He shields. A Saber Rex. I think maybe if I didn't save the move there, I would have been okay. Yeah, because he threw right away, a rock blast is not enough, and a sludge bomb would have been enough at this stage. And then he had Togekiss, and I think I would have been okay against Togekiss as well still, but like this, it's kind of difficult. I should have just stayed in there, like what I see there, but like everybody makes mistakes. And just. Thought that was my win con, but it was not, I, I guess. Dragon Knight Leaving, that's really good for us. Actually, it's not even that good. Mm, but it's like the same as Gavanchly League, basically. We lose the 2 shield here because the Dragon Bomb damage is just so strong. But our Rock is just gonna hurt him so much and we cannot speed him to the second move. But he really does make a beautiful switch into his Machem, which we can counter with our Galate, farm down, and have a close combat stored for the Dragon Knight. Which is always like really really good. Close comment from a Shadow Blade hurt like everything, even though if it's resisted it does like so much damage. It's crazy. I don't know, I think he let it go even. And this should KO. Yep. Resisted the damage is just like completely broken and pulling on the back. We have our Arena, so we can get to two moves before he gets to two moves because we generate energy way faster than him. Dual pack one have KO'd us from this range anyway. And with our additional wind up damage, Friendly Plant is definitely enough to kill the Empoleon from this range. And that's a good game. Really well played for my opponent. Into the next game. Golem into Clefable. That's kind of an interesting matchup here. It's not really good for me. But I think, yeah, he switches out into Snorlax, which makes it better. Um. I had to stay in there because like I only have one real answer for a fairy type, like the fable. I kinda have to let this one go. My Glade doesn't really have that much use because of the Clefable. I can just go for the leaf, but he shields, which is okay for me, you can farm me down. And I can go into my Venus and get some farm here. I'm gonna shield because I kinda want to remain my health there. If he has like another charm or anything like that, having his shields left doesn't really help me. He goes into the opposite game, tries to sex swap here. I can go just straight for the slush bomb. He shield the first one. I can just uh, safely shield here, try to over farm a bit. And I should be fine to. Yeah, I'm at 100 energy right now. I can throw my slush bomb, this KOs. I can throw my frenzy plant. I think I have a whistle on my golem skill, which should be enough to. Uh, 
kill. If I'm correct. Yes. Good game. Like, starting a move on Golem was like really, really good. Like, other uh, switch in Wild Charge is just so strong. Dragon Knight lead again. He switches out immediately into Escav. Escav is kind of difficult to deal with, but we can throw one Wild Charge and dip it onto a, into our Gallade, which will make the matchup a bit easier. But he does a really great job here and farms so much energy that he gets to two Drillruns back to back, I think. Yep. I sneaked an, an extra confusion which helped me in the end. Because when I threw the Leaf back here, he was kind of close to another move. And this does not KO. But I can get the last confusion off there, which really helped me in this scenario. I think he goes back uh, He goes back into Gallade. I go for one close combat there. And this nearly KOs him. I sadly I can't get to my Leaf Blade there. And he gets to a move here, which is kind of bad. I'm in a bad position right now. And he has a little bit right here in the back. And I pr just prayed here that he does not have Psychic. I get to my move, he gets an extra move in. Psychic does KO me. I think if I have good IVs, it just barely does not KO me and I would have won this match. But one Psychic here does the deal and he gets to another move before I get to a Wild Charge. A Wild Charge wouldn't have KO'd there anyway because it's resisted. So a good game to my opponent, really well played there. Now we get the Nut93, which is also a Twitch streamer. I highly recommend him, check him out if you haven't already. He leads with um, Dragon Knight as well, which is really cool for us. We can shield the first one, it's a shadow, so it does a lot of damage still. But we can go for two Rock Blast and then we switch out into our Gallade. Because um, Confusion damage from Gallade is still like so strong. It would most likely take him, yeah, it definitely takes him out before he gets the two moves. I even, get, I even sneak one extra in, which is cool. And he lets the Dragon Knight go down. What does he have in the back? He brings in the Galvantula. I just uh, don't want to risk the CMP tie, so I go for my close combat right away. I could have. He lives with 1 HP in the dream there, which is kind of sad. I tried to farm him down here, but go throw my move. But now I get like one extra turn on to my Venusaur. And he has a Galarian Stumpfist, Max out, Best Buddy in the back. Oh, this is gonna be a close game because. Uh, Rock Thalite and Earthquake both do kind of nice damage, but I think he's still in range of yeah, he's in range of two frenzy plans. We definitely wouldn't see him pee even if he had an earthquake there. And good game to him. Do we have more battles? No, that was the last battle. I hope you enjoyed this video. Golem is really really cool. I can highly recommend it to you. And I hope I see you in the next video.